So the kind of rhythm is like zeppa, mess shogeki. So that was my version of Velvet's Annihilating Crash from Tales of Bazaria. Um, wanted to try a different thing this time uh, for my own sort of practice in sound design. Uh, so I decided to tackle this mystic art from the, uh, Tales of Bazaria, which is a really great game. If you haven't played it, I suggest you check it out. Um, so I'm going to quickly go over the sounds I used in this real quick. So I ended up using just a few sounds and we're going to go through them one by one. So first of all, I did end up using a whoosh sound, uh, which is provided by blip sounds. Also provided by blip sounds, I used a punching sound, a sword slide sort of thing, a recording of watermelon, wind turbines, big heavy metal door that's slamming closed, engine revving up jet engine i recorded a few synth sounds from sector which is this beautiful thing from initial audio has a couple of presets there but i was looking for some sounds that i could use for this um and it ended up coming up with a few so i've got this sort of bubbly sound then i have i recorded two different um, 808 bases, um, one at a lower octave and one at a higher octave. I recorded two of them just in case one would work better than the other. I did end up going with the higher one. Finally, another synth from Sector. Just a simple bell-like sort of synth. And lastly, the sound of tires squeaking. So those are the sounds I used and without any processing, this is kind of what it all sounds like. But it's about to sound very different once I go through the process of how I created this. So like before, I'm going to be focusing on three different sections of the sound. This sound is literally about three seconds long, but there are certain key moments in the animation that I uh, want to pay attention to. And I made a note to mark them with markers on the door. So we're going to go through them real quick. So number one, I've called initial dash. So this is when she initially dashes to the enemy. It's very fast. And then number two is a beam stab. So she dashes through the enemy and stabs her with it, stabs the enemy with the sword. And then at the same time she stabs the enemy, there is a beam that shoots right out from the back, like that. Then at number three, demon arm charge, she starts charging her demon arm. Right? And then number four is called actually called arm whoosh because she then swings, there's a small moment where she swings her demon arm at the enemy to grab grab it right now i've called number five mess and i've called number six shogeki because um i'm weird like that so the name of the attack is in japanese is called zeppa mess shogeki so i've got a number seven marker here where she starts saying zeppa and then at number five she says mess mess and then number six she goes shogeki so at mess she has grabbed the enemy and I wanted the sound for that. And then as she, when she says Shogaki, the enemy is, is sent flying. And there's a big blast of like demonic energy coming from her demon hand. So the kind of rhythm is like Zeppa, poof, mess, Shogaki. Uh, we're going to look into the, we're going to split this part, split this into three parts. Um, we're going to look at the initial dash and the stab. Then we're going to look at the charge up animation where she charges a demon arm. Then we're going to look at when she grabs the enemy and sends them flying for the end. So for now, let's look at the initial dash and stab. So for the initial dash and stab, there's not a whole lot going on. Um, I have about four or five uh, sound effects going on. 
Um, so I have a whoosh, which would have been the big whoosh from earlier. So just give me just a quick, a simple whoosh. Just like that. Uh, and then, so that's just the initial dash, basically. Uh, nothing uh, too complex going on there. Then we have the beam stab, right? Which uses a combination of sword sliding, which I processed. That's what it sounds like. But I, I think it sounds a little too bright by itself. So with processing, I dulled the sound. Then we have the, uh, what I've called beam, which is actually the synth from before. That's it. Now it sounds like this. Very quiet, um, but I didn't want something as like obvious as this. Um, I just wanted something really simple, so I was able to transform the sound using uh, isotope delay, ray of pitch, bringing the pitch down, but the form and shifting it up, um, and then using a modulation to sort of mess with the sound. Because without the modulation, it's the sound is quite straight and quite uniform. But with the modulation, it sort of gives it a bit of delay, gives it a bit of a wobble. Along with that is just a punch sound from Blip Sounds. It's just there to give it a bit of an impact. And yeah, that's pretty much it for the beam stab. So the beam stab sounds a little something like this. Something like that. Um, so that is the whole of the initial dash and stab. It sounds like this. Uh, and yeah, that's basically the beginning of the sound. So we're going to move on to the next part, which is the charging of the demon arm. So with the charging of the arm, basically, uh, if you look at the demon arm, it's like blood red and it looks icky and ghastly and just pretty much straight up just evil looking. So this animation lasts for like less than less than a second almost, maybe, maybe just about a second. Uh, the sound effects that I've used would be the bubbly synth that I uh, recorded um, that I would then eventually process with uh, reverb and pitching it down, uh, making the sound fatter with one knob, fa one knob, one knob fatter from waves, and then using saturation and EQing the higher part of the sound, higher ends of the sound to dull the synth because by itself, there's a, lot of, there's a lot of icky bits, and I actually really wanted that low. I wanted that texture, but I wanted uh, the sound to have that low rumbling quality. Then we have this synth here, a titled Charge Up Synth, but it actually wasn't originated from a synth. It just sounds like one now. This is actually the jet engine. Um, it's a really long sound effect and it goes gets really loud and distorted, but I only really needed the startup. Without the processing, it sounds like this. I basically sped up the sound, but I did quite a bit with it, including pitching it up very slightly, EQing out the low end, because I, did, I really need that's just the high, high parts, um, the bright parts of the sound to come through, uh, more saturation. And this was actually the most important part of the sound. Without this, this is what this sounds like. But with the Mondo mod and the settings I've used on the modulation, it sounds like this. So I wanted that. Boop, 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 boop. So putting that modulation in there gives makes the sound sound a bit more unique, gives it a bit of character. Um, instead of just, just instead of just a normal whoop, a normal rise, that sort of jumpy whoop, boop, 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 makes it sound pretty cool. I I think. And then at last but not least, uh, we have the engine, which would be the car engine from before. <laughs> just another layer to all of the charge up sounds. So everything going together, the charge up sounds like this. Uh, 
um, which I think I crafted a pretty interesting sound. And yeah, that's pretty much what I went with uh, for the charge up sound. So the final part of this uh, animation, we're looking at the part where she grabs the enemy with her demon hand and then she sends them flying with a burst of energy. Quite a bit going on here, actually. <laughs> In marker number four, it's called Arm Whoosh, right? And that will pertain to these two tracks here called Engine and Blood. Oh, no, wrong. Sorry, Blood 2 and Arm Blood Whoosh. So basically, these two sounds, uh, the blood is just a, a bit of watermelon again. And the Arm Blood Whoosh is the bubbly synth again. But I think it was pitched higher. Yes, it was. The reason, reason why that was is because there is a slight animation where she swings her arm and she swings her demon, icky, disgusting demon arm quite close to the camera when she swings it. Um, so I actually wanted that to come through in the sound design. Um, so you could just about see it or hear it if I take away the rest of these. When she swings her arm, you should be able to hear like a really icky, bloody sound as she swings her arm. Uh, across the camera. Just like that. So I combined watermelon sound and the bubbly synth to create that sort of icky, quick icky sound. So Mess is the initial impact with her claw or demon arm, right? Here is where I used 808 bass, uh, which would be this, right? Um, that's going to be here, sub impact, sub impact high with processing. Sounds like this. So what I did with that is I actually automated, I, actually before that, we'll go in here and basically what I did was take out the high end, focused on the low, and we have Raya Pitch, which hasn't had anything done to it. That would be because I've actually automated the sound to actually go down, which is why it's not a straight boo, it's a boo. Um, I just wanted to create this sort of like anticipation sound with a sub bass. Mm. Mm. So that sub bass will hit right as she grabs the enemy and it's purely there for A, impact, one, impact, and two, for an anticipation of the next sound. And along with that, we have uh, a punch, another punch sound. So together, it's basically just this. Then for the final part, we have two sections to look at. So we have the Shogeki impact in purple, um, which uh, will be playing when she sends the enemy flying. And if we look at the animation, we don't actually like it. The only rule indication we see, unless you slow it down, it's kind of hard to see where the enemy went. They get sent flying and you really don't see them. The only indication that they get sent flying is the is if you slow it down, there's this sort of beam right here. But it's really fast and they disappear. And then you see this sort of like whirling effect as if they've just been sent crashing away to God knows where. The way it looks to me is almost like they're being shot off like a cannon. So I wanted something that's very cannon-like, very big, very, um, very sudden, very loud uh, impact. So that would be where the metal, he heavy metal door closing or slamming would come into play. Above, in blue, the howling. Without everything going on, the crashing shogeki part of the attack doesn't have much going on for it. That's it. Um, but with the howling, which sounds like this by itself, it gives it a bit more of a dark and eerie feel. Um, so basically, all of these sound effects are just tire squeaks um, from the tire squeal from before. Um, I've layered three versions of the same sound to on top of each other. One of them is a low, about a low version in which I have pitched the sound down two octaves. Um, along with using a saturator and EQ to take out the low end. Um, and in the mid version, 
would have it be shifted down one octave, but also down by three semitones. Um, this is to give it a chord-like effect. Then we have a high version, which pretty much is pitched, but also it is automated like that. So you've got three different versions, a low, mid, high, each of them doing their own different thing. And so you get yourself a nice little howl, weird howling effect. So paired with the Shogeki Impact, you have... And that's basically the sound. I forgot to mention this ambience, um, ambience track down here in green. This is the wind turbines that I have heavily, heavily processed with uh, Mondo Mod, Modulation, Excalibur, uh, and Rayo Pitch to shift it down one octave. Um, by itself, it sounds like this. But with processing, it sounds like this. And this is just the ambiance of the space that the Mystic Art takes place in. Without it, it sounds quite bland. But add the ambiance in. The ambiance fills the space. And yeah, that's that's basically the entire sound. Um, and my choices behind this particular sound design, um, I'm still practicing <laughs> with this thing, but uh, it's been fun sort of self-learning and experimenting with different techniques and yada, yada, yada. Um, I'm probably still going to be doing more of this uh, over the next few weeks. Um, I've got some ideas for some other mystic art from Tales of, Tales of Bizaria, um, so you might see them soon. But yeah, let me know down in the comments if you still enjoy this sort of content um, that's going to be coming in between uh, my covers uh, that I'm still working on. Um, but otherwise, yeah, thank you for watching. Take care, stay safe, and stay awesome. Thank <laughs> you.